Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and today we are back in SnowRunner continuing our SnowRunner Let's Play series. And if you haven't seen the previous episode we did, I will link a playlist down in the description so you can go and watch all the previous episodes. Uh, but in the previous episode we went and rescued the APC from the brand new Rift map. It was a lot of fun, I really enjoyed exploring that map. And today what I want to go and do is actually take the APC here and go and explore a brand new map in it. So we're not going to be uh, exploring any more of the rift today. We will be doing that in a future episode. So if you're interested in that, then don't forget to subscribe. Um, but today we are actually going to be traveling to Drummond Island because we're going to go and explore that brand new map and see if we can get all of the watch points. But before we can do any of that, uh, we need to actually go and upgrade the APC. So I've got it here in the workshop and let's see what we can do with this thing. So there are actually no engine swaps, which is kind of a shame. Um, you can actually get the advanced special gearbox. So I've not seen this one yet. Um, it gives you a full range of gears at the cost of higher fuel consumption. So I don't really see any point in that because this thing drinks fuel. Uh, suspension you can't raise the thing kind of to be expected the tires these are the only tires you can get on the thing but you can see the on-road is poor but that doesn't really matter the uh, on-road capability of all the tires is pretty good anyway but the off-road and mud capability is excellent which is absolutely super this thing is an off-road mud swamping beast so we'll see that probably later in the video uh, the winch there are a couple of different winches that you can fit to the thing um, and you can actually get the autonomous scout winch so I'm actually going to put that on this thing um, it's pretty good so hopefully it shouldn't get stuck but if we roll over then we can at least roll ourselves back over um, you can actually fit a roof rack that has extra fuel, a spare wheel and some service parts. So why would you not put that on there? In visual stuff, there is a couple of things we can do. Um, so you can get a tall beacon, you can have the double raised beacons, you can have external horns, you can have twin horns. You can have the shade sun visor, which is kind of like just down there at the bottom or you can have the top shade sun visor um, I do quite like the shade so I'd like to get the shade sun visor on both um, I'm gonna put the horns on the thing and yeah I think we'll just leave it at that on the top of the roof we can fit some fog lights so yeah we'll put those on we already have some fog lights but we can fit even more so why would you not do that and yeah there's no different rims you can fit to this thing then in the uh, paint shop there actually is no dlc paint scheme for this thing so uh, it's a little bit unfortunate there could have been some really crazy livery for this thing but unfortunately we can't get that so you have all the usual colours but then you have some two-tone camos down here. You've got kind of the desert camo, kind of the tiger scheme looking one. You can have this like red and black sort of urban camo. Looks really really cool. You can have this sort of um, meadow foresty kind of uh, camo which is really bright, looks really cool. You can have like a blue digital urban camo or you can have the stock sort of woodland camo uh, but I actually don't really like any of those I actually think we're gonna go for the desert camo because I quite like that it looks really cool and that is the thing fully customized not a whole lot you can do um, but you can look make it look quite unique and it does have some frame add-ons which is at least nice okay so we are here today in Smithville Dam. We're going to be traveling today to Drummond Island. That is the brand new map we're going to be exploring. 
Uh, but sadly, there is no garage in Drummond Island. Or oh, there might be, but uh, I haven't unlocked it yet. So we're going to have to travel there through the gateways. And the best way I can see to do it is to go from Smithsville Dam. So we're up here at the garage. We basically need to just follow the road across the dam, go up this massive hill to the warehouse, and then just past the warehouse is the gateway here to Drummond Island. All right, we're outside with the APC. The very first time I've actually driven this thing because we did drive it, sorry, previously uh, in the last video, but that was only very brief. I literally drove it like a couple of feet down the road so I've not actually had any chance to drive this thing properly um, I've not tested it in any mud or anything like that so all what you're going to be seeing is actually my first reactions to this thing but it actually looks really cool if you saw this thing driving down the road I think you would move out of the way for it so it's a fairly long trek up to the gateway uh, this thing is not the fastest thing in the world but that is not the purpose of it uh, so I'll just cut the video here and I will see you all when we get to the gateway Okay, we're just coming past the warehouse now the um, The tunnel is literally just up here, and I just wanted to share the fact that um, Yeah, I did say this thing was quite thirsty and it has used almost 70 liters of fuel getting up here was actually not crazy. The fact that this thing has a massive gas tank, it can hold 300 litres, does actually make up for that and we do have the roof rack. So, I mean that's at least something. But we are here now at the tunnel, so let's go ahead and travel to Drummond Island. And here we are, entering Drummond Island. We got a nice little cutscene there just as all the trees are rendering in uh, yeah I believe with the new update the uh, rendering of the trees and well the rendering of the map basically takes a little while longer um, it's not really something I'm too fussed about but it is a little bit annoying however we are now here in Drummond Island it's a brand new map um, I have explored this map briefly just off camera um, but nothing too major. I didn't uncloak any of the watch points or anything like that. I was just hunting for some upgrades. Um, it's not a massive map. There is four watch points for us to go and discover today. And I believe there is also a new truck that we can go and find. So we're going to see if we can get all the watch points and then see if we can go ahead and find that truck. Okay, so I'm just having a look at the map. I think the first watch point we're gonna go and get is this one right here because it is actually the closest. So I think the route we wanna take, we wanna just carry on on the road that we are on. So we get to here, take a right turn there, and then there is a tiny little road sort of just hidden here, and that should lead us nicely to the watchtower. All right, let's fire this beast up. It does smoke quite a lot. Um, it's not the most economically friendly vehicle in the world. It's um, a bit of a Greenpeace hater, but I'm okay with that. It's it's not really designed to be eco-friendly. This thing is designed to go anywhere and do whatever you want it to. In fact, we can't actually just see the watchtower. It's right there, just to our right. And... It doesn't look like it's in too bad a location, but we do have to go all the way around the lake because there's no like bridges or anything. Alright, so we want to turn right here and then just carry on a little bit and there should be that little turn off that sort of runs around the side of the lake. Um, did look like quite a narrow path. So, I mean this is technically one of the scout vehicles, so hopefully shouldn't have too many problems oh there's actually quite a lot of mud here um, that's where we need to go we can shortcut but I want to see how good this thing is in the mud so I'm not going to shortcut I'm going to go the long way around I'm going to just go straight through the middle 
it doesn't even slow down it didn't even have an issue with that oh there's also a service trailer here which is nice let's test it here in the water yeah it doesn't even have an issue with that it doesn't slow down for anything this thing is probably the most OP vehicle in this game um, it can't tow any trailers, it can't carry any cargo or anything like that, but as a scout for exploring a map, it is an absolute tank. Well, it is actually a tank. It is technically a tank. Um, but it is an actual beast at off-roading. I am actually really enjoying the scenery of the uh, Drummond Island map here. I have to say, in my opinion, um, you guys might not agree, but the the maps in SnowRunner, the Michigan maps are actually my favourite maps. I do love the snow aspect of SnowRunner, obviously, um, but I do like the sort of marshy, swampy, like lake scenery. I mean, just look at that water graphics; it looks absolutely incredible. And um, it didn't even slow down for that bit of mud there. I just like to point that out. And here we are at the first watchtower. That was probably the easiest watchtower I've ever discovered. Let's launch the observation. Look at that scenery. Absolutely incredible. That is why I like the Michigan maps. Because the scenery is absolutely incredible. Right, I've decided we're going to leave this watchtower just for now. Because... Um, I don't know if there's going to be a way to get over there and since we have to go back to this road basically here anyway the next watchtower is actually just here so we basically have to go back up this track to here and then go back on this road a little bit and then where we turn right here we want to just turn left and then head down this small track here and the watchtower is just there uh, it just seems a bit stupid to sort of go right past that when we're going to be going past it anyway so we're going to go and get this one over here okay so i need to do now a million point turn in this thing because it's the only sort of downside i can think of with this bit well obviously it can't to a trailer and all that but i don't care about that because it doesn't need to it's not what it's for but this thing does not have the greatest turning radius it does have four wheel steer and i think it wouldn't cope as well as it does without that but it's yeah it does have a little bit of an issue with turning round and i think the front might bottom out occasionally it does have that like slope on it but i could see that getting stuck on big rocks and things we haven't had any issues with it yet but it's always one of those possibilities right back through the swamp again it just doesn't even struggle with this it doesn't even slow down like it we're in top gear it doesn't go that fast but it just didn't even slow down in that swamp that is how impressive this thing is right we're back onto the main road once again so we just need to go back the way we came and then instead of turning right we need to turn left. Right, we just want to turn down here and in fact there is a watchtower right in front of us. Doesn't look like too difficult of a road. Well, for this thing anyway. I'm actually struggling for things to sort of talk about with this vehicle. Just the fact that it's so good. Um, it, doesn't really have any talking points that is the only talking point about it is the fact that it is so good and um, it's a shame this thing can't actually float on water some of the trailers uh, for snow runner were a little bit misleading where they would actually show the apc driving in the water not actually floating but like as if they were about to start floating and um, it can't actually do that unfortunately uh, I know APC, well not all of them, but some APCs in real life can actually float on water. This thing unfortunately can't. It would be really cool if it could, because you could just like drive across that lake, whereas the vehicles would have to drive around it. 
so that's a little bit of a missed opportunity but there are mods in the works and I believe there is actually a mod that's going to add tank tracks to this thing so having a tracked APC would actually be awesome but unfortunately we can't get mods on console just yet hopefully they are going to be coming very soon but we are yet to hear something from SnowRunner this also looks like a horrible little pathway up here but I think this is where we want to go uh, let me just have a look um, yeah I think it is yeah we want to just follow this road and then when we get well we basically just want to follow this road and it leads us to the watchtower something that I wouldn't actually call an issue with this game but something that's quite amusing is the fact that um, the, the camo on this thing it, it kind of blends into the trees a little bit and um, if you actually sort of get stuck in some trees or something and it's like a really bushy sort of area it's actually really difficult to see this thing because it is actually camouflaged and I just thought that was quite hilarious uh, I'm sure if you have like the woodland camo or like the red or blue one it's obviously a lot easier to see I didn't really like any of those I like this livery um, sort of desert desert camo always looks quite cool in my opinion um, but it's quite funny that sometimes you can't actually see this thing and here we go the second watchtower has been discovered let's go and launch the observation look at the scenery absolutely beautiful there's also a bridge for us to go and repair over there where was that bridge right here there is actually a bridge that we can go and repair probably in a later episode we have actually discovered like a bit of a town well it looks like a port actually um, there is actually a container ship out here which is really cool there's also a lighthouse over here that you can actually go and visit um, there's a ramp flatbed there is also what appears to be a I think that's a scout is that an international scout I think it is and there's also a mission here so I'm guessing you probably have to rescue that thing and take it somewhere um, so we've got two watchtowers the next one I think we're gonna go for is hmm I think we'll we'll try and get this one here and then hopefully we can find a way to get over there the only thing I noticed with getting over there is the bridge is out here um, so we're gonna have to try and find a bit of a way to get over to here without having to go across the bridge and I don't see any like crossing points here so I don't know if it's gonna be possible but I'm gonna just have a little look at the map and see if I can figure a way out okay it's a little bit difficult to see because both of these sort of areas that we need to go to are cloaking any roads that possibly might allow us to cross here there is a broken bridge right here so we can't actually cross there uh, it looks like quite a deep sort of valley and as good as the APC is it's not going to be able to cross that so the only sort of viable crossing point that I can see is right here um, there's a little bit of land that sticks out and sort of a bit of a road kind of area here that might might be okay for the APC to pass I don't know if any of these roads are like this bit well obviously this is connected by the bridge so we can't go that way um, so if we can get across to there get that watch point and then hopefully we can just drive to the last watchtower right there okay I've planned out a little route I've had a look at the map and the route is sort of the best route that I can think to take um, we do have to cross that sort of makeshift Ford area um, I don't know if this thing is going to be able to cross there I'm just going to cross fingers and hope it can this thing does have incredible sort of water capability so it can go through some really deep water I mentioned it can't float but it's basically a submarine so that's okay um, 
So if it does get really deep, hopefully it can make it through there. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to go hope and see if it can. Alright, we've travelled quite far. Um, that actually does look like a bit of a crossing point down there. I'm not actually going to lie, right in front of us. Um, I think... I don't think we can get down there though is the only issue so the crossing point I've found is actually just around the corner here and I, I've not actually seen it sort of on camera I've only seen it on the map so I'm hoping it's not too bad it doesn't look too bad this is it right here uh, it seems quite rocky it's actually not as wide as I thought, so the map actually does make things look a lot wider than they are. I've also just noticed that that ship, um, that sort of out in the port, so I'll just show you on the map. Oh, that's not actually the same ship. Can we see that ship on the map? No, I don't think we can. There's a massive ship right there, I don't know if you can see it in the very background. Um, but it's like tipped over that's actually really cool I don't think you can see it on the map though it's like right here but you can't see it on the map very interesting anyway let's give this crossing a bit of a go doesn't look too bad it does appear to be like a kind of road you can see this thing is an absolute beast at crossing water and uh, the water capability in this thing is immense it can go really deep in the water it has so much torque in this thing as well that it just really doesn't struggle and apparently that is actually a crossing point so we are now across to this side so in case you're wondering I'll show you on the map it is right here if you are in Drummond Island and you're struggling to get across this is a good crossing point right here doesn't really show as a proper crossing point on the map but it isn't actually too bad so we basically just want to follow this road and we should reach the next watchtower we are also running dangerously low on fuel now we've only got 44 litres left of fuel so we can use nearly all of the fuel that we have left um, I haven't used any out of the reserve on the roof yet so we have still got that and yeah I'm just hoping that soon we are going to find a sort of fuel station I don't think we've actually discovered any so far I couldn't see any um, so hopefully there might be one over here we can actually see where the watchtower is now so we want to just follow this road and then take this little road down to it. Right, we just have to take this little turn off and in fact we can see the next watchtower, it's just right there. And what I just realised as well, I've mentioned a few times that this thing can't tow a trailer. And that's actually, it's bad because obviously you do sort of need it to tow a trailer. It can tow it with the winch, but you can't actually use like a trailer store to refuel yourself but anyway we have discovered a brand new watchtower let's launch the observation we can see that ship a little bit better that has sort of rolled over can we actually see it on the map now okay no so you can't actually see that ship uh, but anyway yeah we can now see there is a gateway here to Lake Island so that is quite cool that is where the Lake Island um, gateway is and we've got one watchtower left to go and discover it's right here and hopefully it's just going to be a straight road to there um, there is this like little road that goes down here so yeah let's go and see if we can get the last watchtower um, yeah okay so we need two wooden planks to cross that bridge over there um, that's something that we can go and do in a future sort of episode uh, but luckily there is this little road around here so hopefully there isn't a bridge out there 
and it does look like it leads round there. Looks like it goes down there and sort of round and up to the other side. I'm going to use a bit more fuel, but if we can make it, that's what's important. And there we go, we are across to the other side. Um, I don't know which way we want to be going here. Oh, there is a massive fuel trailer there. I'm not even going to open the map, I'm just going to run to the fuel trailer. Oh, this is actually a fuel station right here. That was perfect timing. Right, let's go and fuel the thing up. Um, did that fuel the roof rack up as well? Okay, so it doesn't fuel the roof rack up, but we can fuel the roof rack up like that. And then we'll go and fuel the APC. Right, there we go. So we have got fuel again, a reserve. Not that we really need it now. And the thing is fully fueled up. And the last watchtower is not all that far away. So I think we want to go down here to this road, follow it round. And the last watchtower is just right there. And there we go. Let's launch launch the last observation, sorry. Absolutely super. And we have now fully uncloaked the entire Drummond Island map. It's not the biggest map in the world. There isn't actually a garage on this map, which is kind of unfortunate. I would have liked to have seen a map, uh, garage on this map. Uh, but I have to say, I love this map. It's absolutely incredible. Um, it has all of the water and the the little roads and stuff and the scenery is absolutely beautiful There's plenty of little missions that we can go and do So the last thing that I want to go and do today is see if we can discover the The free truck in this map and the free truck we can go and get is actually a bit of a beast It's right down here sort of hidden a little bit. I'll just zoom out in case you're wondering, that is where it is, right there, uh, where the little marker is. And this thing is the Pacific P-16. I'll put a picture of it on screen so you can see what it looks like. This thing is actually a beast at off-roading. And it also has the best horn in this game. Not that that's really important, but when we get in this thing, I will show you the horn because it is absolutely awesome. So the route I think we want to take, we want to just carry on around here basically and then take this little route and it is just right there. Oh, we've discovered a trailer. I'm just going to have a quick look what this trailer is, see what it, because it does have some stuff in it. I'm going to see what that is. Um, okay, so it's a sideboard trailer with some concrete slabs in. That's always useful. And the Pacific P12, uh, P16, sorry, is just down here. Right, we've got another little bog crossing. I'm glad we came in this thing because not many of the other trucks would have got across something like this. There's also a beautiful waterfall. Look at that. That is absolutely incredible. That is actually a really nice photo with the APC in the foreground. A nice background, there's a nice little river, it's absolutely incredible. And there it is, the king of all trucks. This thing is actually awesome, look at it. It's massive as well. The Pacific P-16. There is actually also the Pacific P-12 in this game. Um, both of those trucks are in this game. Let's stop the engine on the APC. Can we get in this thing? We can. Oh my god. It doesn't have any damage. It do Actually, it does have a little bit of suspension damage, but nothing any anything serious. And it is fully fueled up, which is nice. So let's start this thing up. Let's have a little drive with it this thing is actually massive look how wide it is it's absolutely massive this would really struggle in some maps and uh, as i mentioned the horn on this thing is absolutely beast 
Yeah, there we go. It is actually the best horn in this game. The horns are not important in this game in any way, but I just love that horn. It's actually beast. Uh, but that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. We are going to be exploring in the Pacific P-16 in the next episode. So if you're interested in that and you're interested in watching some customization of this thing, definitely subscribe to the channel. We're going to be doing that in the next episode. But that is going to do it. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next episode.